Hey, what's going on everyone? Good evening, it's me, Mark. I'm here in the bathroom. No, I'm not in the pooper. I'm actually in the bathroom to show you guys what I plan on doing in this video. This video is mainly on my bathroom ceiling light. Now this is a ceiling light slash fan. Uh, my wife and I, we don't like this dull style. It's, if you can, if you notice that it has that cream frame, we just finished purchasing a white frame, uh, what is it, like a LED bath Bluetooth fan light. I'm about to show you guys in the next clip. But for right now, I'm showing you the old frame that we have. It's a fan, it's a light. Um, what we don't like about it is that it's just that regular incandescent light bulb. It's just boring. We want something nice. We want something more modern, more, more of a... Um, I don't know, more of a stylish look compared to that. That came with the house when we bought it. It's, we, we didn't like it the moment we bought it, but at that time, we were like, just let that be. We have other things we need to worry about. And not only that, I wasn't sure how to do it, but for the past four years, I've been doing stuff around the house, uh, installing toilets, installing sinks, you know, just floor work, everything. So once you buy a home, you get to that point where you, instead of paying someone, you learn. And it's a great way for you to pass that on to your kids so your kids can learn more of a home improvement. So if something goes wrong, you're there and you know how to do it. So here, this is what we purchased. It's something that we we both came to agree that we like the color. It's that pure white, so it matches the ceiling. We don't get that ugly cream color frame. It's pure white. The LED has this nice little um, blue LED ring to let you know that you're connected to the Bluetooth. And then it has kind of like a night light, this nice warm white. But overall, this powerful right here, this pure thing right here, that's all white. It has, it's the temperature is between 4K, I would say 4K to 5K. It's a very nice white light. I like that pure white. It has a built-in Bluetooth, which I love because I'm the type of person that likes listening to music when I take showers or when I'm in the bathroom. So that's pretty cool. And um, it comes with this, what I just recently found out. That you see, it comes with this frame here, which I'm gonna have to do something about it because my, uh, our bathroom frame here, the light switch. So I'm gonna have to get a pure white, which is perfect because I hate these colors. I hate cream. I'm gonna get it white and then get the one that's more of a longer rectangular so I can put the switch in. And then these two, I'm just gonna get the same style where it's not even, it's not even these type of switches. It's the ones where it's like a click. Uh, I'm not sure how, what it's called, but I saw it at Lowe's and planning. I'm gonna have to make that trip tomorrow. But either way, uh, let me get started. So I didn't do it last night because I completely forgot that you need to turn off the circuit breaker. So now let me just confirm. I went downstairs and I turned off my. Uh, I went down there and turned off my lights, all of upstairs of my master bedroom, to confirm to make sure that there's no power. All right, so I'm good. And luckily, to remove this. All you really gotta do is, once you take this out, you just gotta snap that screw down. Unscrew that and then you can pull it down. So actually, let me get started. I'm gonna need both hands. So once you take out that ceiling fan kit, uh, excuse me, the ceiling fan uh, cover, measure from across and confirm that you're looking at nine inches and a quarter. Now I took the measurements already and it is, I confirmed it on both sides, nine inches and a quarter. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna have to reach my attic. So it, depending on your housing, for my housing, I have to pull it out. I can't pull it, I can't pull it from under. I have to get on top of my attic and go at the housing and pull it out from on top. So it kind of sucks. I haven't been on this attic for quite some time. All right, so I'm here in my attic and I found the conjunction box, the one for our master ceiling, our master bathroom ceiling. Now that I need to remove, but in order for me to take this out, I'm gonna need a flathead to remove all the nails and screws that are attached to it. It's actually on this ply, well, it's on the ply to your left. All right, let me see if you can zoom in a bit. It's straight down over there that I need to unscrew all the things. Unscrew the bolts and then um, replace it with the new one. <clears throat> it's a bit dusty in here. Let me get started. All right, so I was able to unscrew them. 
And now, all I need to do is go under so I can unplug some of the uh, electrical wiring and then replace it with the new one. Hey guys, forgive me that you can't really hear me. It's muffled because I'm wearing a mask. So for those that that are dealing with the same issue when you're buying the home networks, bath fan with Bluetooth. So here's the problem. Your home is gonna have four wires. It's having the white, neutral, the ground, the black power. This red one is for the fan. But you'll notice that when you uh, when you purchase this, the wires that they only provide are the green, black, and the white. <clears throat> so what you're gonna have to do is take your red wire, and I just connected it to the neutral because it was the space. See, everything else is two, two, except for the ground. The ground has. A four slot and normally already has a built-in two wires already inside you're gonna take your home wire let's call this home wire this is the one that's built with your home you're gonna take the ground copper wire you're gonna put it one slot and then the red one you're gonna put it on the other slot that's all you have to do and then you can just hide the wires and then and then when you're downstairs I'll make the clip to show you guys how how you need to properly connect it from your main switch all right all right so i was able to put the new fan inside i wasn't able to record the uh, wiring it's a very simple task it's it's plug and play you take the green neutral wire connect it to the existing green wire the black goes with the black and the white goes with the white it's very easy to do it only took a matter of seconds the hard part was to remove the old fan box to put in the new one that was a pain in the ass for me I, for for me it was because I don't have much space up there in the attic to remove the old one to put the new one. Now the hardest part was that when you're installing the new box, on top of it you need to uh, screw it in into uh, an existing lumber that you have. Well, I was able to put the one closer to my side, but the side over here, these two were a pain in the ass because my house is slanted right on the corner like most houses are. So there's not that much room to put my head or my hands to see where I'm going to screw it in. It was a pain in the ass. I did not have that much space, but I was able to do it. So now that fan box is secure. Now all I have to do is just put the cover on. Let me do that now. All right, going up to, excuse me. Right, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up. It's easy plug and play. Just connect this wire and connect the top. All right. So you see this connector right here? That connector goes to this one right there. That's all you gotta do. And then these little hinges you see they're loose. You gotta bring them up so that they can connect to this top piece right there. And then you're done. So here's a better view. See how I squeeze that one side to that metal hinge? And then you gotta do it just the other side. Squeeze it in, you grab it, you grab it and you pull it in to the center and then it'll just drag into this side here. And then you're pretty much done. Now all you have to do is connect the remote to that switch right over there. All right, so that's how it's supposed to look. I like how it's all that pure white frame. It's much better than that cream beige frame that I had in my old housing. It's disgusting. This is more of that new modern uh, tech style. When I mean tech, it's just more like that high tech where it's form and function. You get the light, you get a Bluetooth, you get uh, this blue LED, kind of like a like a, um, a safe light to let you know it's connected. And then it also comes with this warm ring around it letting you know, it's, I forgot what it's called. It's called like a, a, a warm light. I forgot the uh, term. But now all I have to do is pull this out and put the new switch. But I'm gonna have to get a new frame here because I'm planning on pulling these out to get the other style of switches. The new modern switches is kind of like a rocker, excuse me, kind of like a rocker switch. Getting a pure white, again, same goes with this. I hate, I hate beige. It just seems like I'm living in the um, 70s. 
So I'm gonna get the white rocker switches on both of these, and then this one is gonna be the uh, the the remote switch that came with the with the item. All right, guys. Again, in order to remove these, make sure that when you're pulling out the uh, frame, you go to your circuit breaker and you un unplug, disconnect the breaker to make sure there's no more power running. And if you don't, if you're not sure. Plug something in and turn it on. If it turns on, that's because you have not done it properly. So always make sure you go to your circuit breaker, excuse me, your circuit circuit breaker or your main switch and turn it off or unplug it. I just want to make this video a little short. For those that have a separate red wire. See, this is the wire that I had um, that came with the house, but you'll notice that when you plug in your fan housing from the roof, from the attic, you're gonna notice that the red wire that comes from your house, there's no red wire to connect to your fan box. So what I had to do is I just put it on the neutral and then the red box here, I just couldn't have, I left it alone. But now here, this is the red wire for your, um, your fan switch, your new fan switch. It wasn't working because I had this connected to the house, but that wasn't connected because this red wire wasn't connected on the top. I just had it on neutral. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna take this this switch right here. This is my middle switch. This is just for the fan and uh, fan and fan only. What I did was I can I took out the the uh, power source from the fan switch, took it out, which is this wire right here, and then I connected that with the red wire. This is the red wire which is your fan power. So I took the fan power wire and connected it to the black wire that was connected to the house fan switch, the old one. So now, now it's working properly. You just gotta, it turns on, you're gonna hear it. There you go, that's the lights. And then turn on the fan. Oops. And that's it. It took a while because of my existing red wire that I had inside that was built with this house. It just doesn't comply with the uh, with the Bluetooth network, bath, home network, whatever this is called. But again, it's done and I'm glad. All I gotta do is just get a new white housing because I wanna throw away this cream board, the frame. I don't like it, we want it all white. That's why I went ahead and I took this one out as well. I'm gonna replace this with white. All right, um, my next clip, I'll have everything cleaned up. All right, guys, so it's the next morning, and I want to show you guys the whole setup. It's finally finished. Uh, before I talk about this, this will be my next project. I may get the nest here, depending. We'll see. But like I promised myself, I wanted this white frame. This, I had to add this on. This is beautiful. So this stays on during throughout the night. It's beautiful when you want to go use the bathroom late at night and you don't want to turn on the lights. That's beautiful, it illuminates very well. Now these three switches, this one is for the mirror, the vanity. This one has no use because all the power is in here in this system because this used to be the fan power, but I spliced it into this system here. So now let's turn this on. Excuse me. You can hear the fan. And then you have your light source. That is the white LED. And then at late at night, this is very beautiful. This is a blue LED. And then if you press it again, you get the uh, warm white LED. Very nice. And then here, because I'm using my phone, I can't show you, but you just gotta go to your settings, go to your Bluetooth, and then you'll see the uh, home networks. This, I tried it out last night, taking a shower, connect it to your Pandora, and you're good to take a shower. All right, guys, I hope this helped anyone watching this. Uh, if so, please hit a like. And also, if you found another way to break the system because of your home wiring, please leave it in the comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching.